Praise the Lord, brother and sister again. I am uh, finishing up the session that we spoke about, or that I spoke about during the day. Um, you're ready to go into the same topic at a different time, different session. session. Okay? But it's going to be dealing with the same topic of part one. Judges 17, 6. Chapter 17, verse 6. Nuclear war. And I want you to bear in mind that last statement I just made. Nuclear war. Okay? I noticed when I ran back or review the first part of the session that I did earlier today, I noticed I ended with, I was asking a question of those that might be thinking on the line when I told them about the kids and staying strong in the Lord. You know, you don't have to placate to get along, and, you know what I mean, staying still, you know. And, um, I, I ran out. I ran out of time on that, but I, I want to take time to add more to that. See, see, that's why it's so important that we learn God's word because there are going to come some time. There are going to come a time in our life down here in the flesh. See, that we're not going to be able to say to our kid verbally. You know what I mean? Because they're still growing. They're growing up. About how they should act, what they should say, where they should go. See? There's going to be a time when they are grown, get 17 and 18. You know? That we're not going to be able to say, well, Johnny do this and, and Suzanne do that. They're grown. See? But there, when those time does come, See, that's when you have to have a relationship with God that is beyond this world. That means in God's world, spiritual world. And that the only thing, the only tool you might have just for that time frame, when they get grown or whatever, or gone, or even if they still work, adolescent to a point, you know, under age 12, 13, whatever. That's why you want to have to utilize prayer. See, prayer. Prayer is the what? The writer said prayer to what? The key to the kingdom. Faith unlock the door. That's when you will have to put your child on the altar. And you will have to leave it in the hands of God. You see? And when you put anything on the altar, that altar is primarily used to what? To burn whatever's on the altar before whosoever that the offering is being offered up to. So the Bible said in Revelation that the earth, the earth, the earth right down here where the human race is, he said the earth is the altar of the Lord. See? So who and whatever we put on the altar in the hands of God down here, you see, we know what kind of altar this is. See? We want to make sure that what we put on the altar down here, which the earth is the altar of the Lord, See, when a saint put that on the altar, it is offered up to God. You have to offer up your child. You are, it's going to be a point in time in your life, you know what I mean, that all the physical talking you do, they're going to come to a head. See? When you had opportunity to spank them in the right way, see what I'm saying? Not hit them side the head or abuse them, nothing like that, but just to jog their memory, you don't know, spank them where they sit out on. And you don't spank them to the point whereby they become blue, black, and red, or whatever. No. It's a limited time. See? But you, that is only used when everything else has been, uh, 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 have been, uh, uh, has been used before that to get their attention. See? And then there's going to come a time when spanking just won't do. 
You know, it didn't it didn't do with me at the time, but that didn't mean that I lost the the perception that my mama was trying to give me on down the road when I got the age that I got. I remember what she was saying. But it took a God. So somebody had to what? Put me on the altar and offer me up to God, put me in God's hands so that when that time did come in my life, that that prayer that they prayed up to God, they put me on the altar. That prayer what? Began to, to be answered. And it was answered at the age of 24. See? Whether you know then or not, whether it's going to work or not, but you know enough about God to know that if you do that for your child to God, that God got everything under control. God what? Got your child in his hands. And he going to give him, them every opportunity in their little young life. He going to protect them. See? And when he can't lead and guide them, he's still going to protect them. But because of the prayer of the saints, because of your prayer, mother and father, and whosoever in the family of God, see, because of your prayer, see, that child could be just like me. That prayer didn't reach me until I was 24. But I've done, done a lot of stuff before I got 24 or 25. See? So I, I don't want you to think that I'm one that go ahead and just say, beat your child, and do this and do that. No, 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 no. I'm not like that. I wouldn't even suggest that. See? If anything, I really, I do not like, I do not like people beating kids, beating up on kids. See? Maybe one of you, because I got so many beating myself, but it just kind of breaks my heart. I couldn't even beat my, 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 my daughter, my, my baby daughter. I couldn't beat her. I think we had about two altercations, one out. But you know what? <laughs> you would say, what you got that man spanking that child with? <laughs> is that, a, is that a, 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 a fella or what? <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> now, I'm just saying, you know? And there was one incident that, 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 that uh, uh, in, in raising her, trying to jog her mind, whatever, jog her mind or whatever, or what I believe, you know? You know, she said something, whatever, you know, and when I went south. You know, but boy, I had to come back and I had to come back and hug my baby, apologize my baby, and, and teach her what I believe that God gave me. You know what I mean? I feel so bad. And guess what? Jab it, boy, you can't even use one hand and count the time that I and, and me or Carla ever spanked that girl there. See? See? And she know better than nobody else, but the thing was, the jabber would listen. She would listen. You might get jabbed one time, but you're not going to get her twice. No, sir, buddy. See? Anybody can tell you she was the, she wasn't perfect. Perfect in the sense that we think that she does everything right. No, 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 no. See? But she was growing in perfection. That is what to know something about God. And, know, and when you get, get ready to, when you begin to know something about God, you begin to know something about what? Right and wrong. Truth and untruth. Just and injustice. And that's the way we raised her. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't really have to, I know Curly did, I didn't really have to spank that girl. No sir, but it. And I thank God for that. Because she was able to listen. You know? You know? So I'm just saying it to tell, let you know how I was as I raised my child, Jasmine, because she was the last at that time, I knew her, the baby, you see? And uh, and that's the way that was, you see? I had other children, and I thank God, you know, that even though I went to prison, I got out. God blessed me to get out, and I still had a connection, you know, with my other children, being that they were about, the oldest was about 10, I believe, 10 or 11. And, and the next one to her was about eight, and the boy was about, my son was about, maybe about six or seven, something like that, about six or something like that. And I used to go down there and get them, and we used to come back, and, you know, we had no problems, you know? But I'm glad that I got them at an early age. I mean, I was, I was able to get out and, and, and have their present with me for a little while, you know, when I got out. And they were good kids. Their mother raised them real well. I got to say that. And I thank God for that. 
You see? So, and also, let me, let me ease this in, 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 into the scene, too, that, uh, well, that's another, another book, another, another subject, another time, another day. But I thank God for that. Put it like that right there. See? So I'm all about discipline. You know what I mean? But I do believe that you need to use every tool, but you should prioritize the tool in which God gives you to use. You see? See what I'm saying? But the way things are today, they're no different when I was coming up as a child. You know what I mean? But the way some things are today, now there have been some changes as far as in technology and you know, so forth and so on, you know. You know, before my before I came along, they used to listen to radio. See what I'm saying? Probably for the other kid came along. We, we, we had at least had TV. You know what I mean? We had telephone. But today, you know, you have a the modern technology just overwhelming at, the, at your fingertips. And just so happens, some of them things can be real helpful and, and, and real good, but also used in the wrong way. You, you, you know, you got to be in a frame of mind, you know how to dissect. You know, pull this out, pull it out, keep that there at bay. It's a lot of stuff. See? So I want you to know that, that you will have to have a connection with God. See? Not only in living down here on this great altar, the earth of the Lord, but you will have to have a connection with God, even what? Sending your children up in prayer. You got to know what you're doing. You got to be close to God. You got, you, 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 you got to know something. You see what I'm saying? See? See? So with your little narrow mind, some of y'all, you know, don't think I'm, I'm, I advocate force, brute force and stuff. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. No. I think things should be done in moderate. You know what I mean? Should be done by prioritizing. You know? And if you do that, you would never have to physically I would say, spank your child. You know what I mean? If you're in God and know what to do. All right? Okay. So back to uh, Judges 17, 6. I was talking about how that in this day and time that uh, the masses of people, those in high places and down, those way low. You know what I mean? Without God in your life, without the principles of God, see, and principles does not change regardless the situation or regardless of whatever was going on around you. Principles, God's principle always remain the same. That's why they call principles. They come, they're the first thing. See, that's the first thing we walk in, the principles of God. When God makes us new creatures, and he teaches us how to walk by faith and not by sight, he teaches us how to walk what? In his principles. See? You have to learn the principles of God. And when you learn the principle, principles of God, then you're going to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. You're going to learn how to walk by what? Obedience. See? Now we learn how to, walk, how to walk obedience before God, for God, there would be no need for God, what, the chest has it. But unfortunately, we have those moments where God had to chastise us, just like our mom and pop had to chastise us. See? See? So God... Chastises. Do he use a whip in the belt? He's a spirit. God is a spirit. Whatever God does, he does what? With a spirit, a spiritual notation. You see what I'm saying? In other words, whatever God, he's a spirit, he works spiritually. So when God chastises us, he chastises us what? In the spirit part of us. 
<laughs> so if it's not the physical, you know what I mean? You see? Now, if we rebel, it does, it, it could come, I believe, out in the, in, in the flesh, physically. You see what I'm saying? See? God keep telling you something over and over and over again. He said, look, don't do that, don't do that, don't go there. And you all disobey. That don't, that not, that's not, that do not only hurt you spiritually, but it hurt you what? Physically. Because physically you might end up right over there at the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay? So let us get back to the state of man, the state of all of us that are not allowing God to what? To rule, to rest, and abide in our spirit. Okay? 17, Judges 17, 6. Let me read it again. In those days, what days? D days, in which we live in there, there was no king. No king. What, what I'm saying about the king? What, what I'm talking about the king? Huh? The teachers and the doctrines of God, Almighty God. God not separate from his teachers and doctrine. If his teaching, if, if God is king, then whatever belongs to God and of God is also recognized as what? Huh? King. Principle. Huh? Prince. Huh? The first. Huh? Fruits of the Spirit. Oh God. It's a part of him. So when I say no king, I, br I bring it down to say that some of the characteristics and the character of God where it should be because of, I mean, when we were brought up or raised up, it should exist today and in most of us, in the children today. And some of it, it does. And some, a whole lot, is a kid, it, it don't. Why? Because we have what? Forfeit. The hold the rain. We forfeit the what? The hold the old landmark. See? See? And a lot of stuff we thought were cute. When they were kids, they were doing the same. They, they're not kids no more. See? And a reflection on you. See? Because you didn't hold the rain when you were supposed to. Because you thought it was cute. Oh, they're grow out of this. How many times you hear that? I heard it when I was coming. Oh, they grow out of this. They just, they just kids. They just, you know what I mean? But you didn't know that that kid was going to grow up and be a woman or a man one day. It ain't cute no more. Now you ready what? You ready, you ready, you ready to do some battle of harm to him. If you ready to help the principles of God, even the little stuff that your mama and daddy taught you and they raised raise you up, took care of you as you were growing up. You ready to help that fast to the kids that you have See, you wouldn't have the problem that you have now. Unfortunately, we did. See? So don't get mad. Don't get ugly. Don't say, I did the best I could. No, 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 no. The thing is now to say, God, that happened. You're right, God. The word of God. You're right. And now give me the power and the strength and the love to deal with it, Lord, so I can do better now, so I know better, to help my child. And anybody else, child, this is what I'm talking about. God ain't here to what? He, Jesus said what? He said, I came to save. I did not come to kill. I came to save. Them that were lost. The Bible said, don't get mad. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son manifest in the flesh, which is the word of God. God's word stopped in flesh. Came down 42 generations, that seed, just to save mankind. You understand what I'm saying? God not here to show you up or whatever. He's here to show sin up. He's here to what? Kill sin. And if you're a part of sin, then some got to die. Some got to come out. So he got to do all of this right to bring that stuff out of you, out of your children, out of the, those that are in high places. Those that are in low place. He got to do all that to bring that stuff out in order to save their soul. Jesus said, what? Well, I came to give you life and more abundantly. So if you get saved while you're in the flesh down here, that's life. And when it's time for God to 
carry you to the grave and the spirit of you go back to God, then they're going to be a bunch of life because he's going to give you what? Eternal life on, in his world. Are y'all with this? You can't dig over with God. You, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't, you can't make no plan, no deal with God. God's way is uno. First. Huh? So we've been trying to make deals with God because we ain't been working in the vein in which we supposed to be working in that vine that Jesus said. Long as you stay in the vine, you shall what? Have life. Don't step out of the vine. Who's the vine? Jesus is that vine. Oh, if I could just reach as many. Because I've been where some of you are. You see? I'm going to do it my way. My way the right way. God knows my heart. God will put more on me than I put no more on me than I can bear. If you can get in there and tear that up, tear that, tear that, tear that meat off that bone, what he actually is saying. See? The Bible said, don't get mad. It's in the Bible. I'm going to see if you're going to be smart. I'm going to see not smart, but I'm going to see if you're going to be hungry enough and thirsty enough for the righteousness of Christ to go and find it. Huh? God said, no homeowner. No fornicator, no idolatry, no liar, no, uh, what would he say, uh, something else, it's in there. We enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what God said. That's what God said. My wife been in the grave for Three going over three three years, I can tell you. I can tell you. Three years. Uh one month and and uh February the day the twelve. Twelve days. Lacking six days, huh? For being two months. And since she been gone, I had many time to do it my way. Oh, but there's something in my spirit of God that won't let me rest, that I can what? Do it my way. And I thank God for that. I thank God for that. I'm very cautious. I'm very picky. And I should be. Because guess what? I ain't trying to go back. And I ain't gonna let nobody carry me back. Knowing it, oh no. Oh, I'm a man. You can believe that. I'm a man. But it's something about the power of God. God keeps me. See? You know that song? God keep me day by day. Huh? Yes, sir. So, so I don't brag on that, but I'm just letting you know that. You can't be kept without doing it your way. Now, let us get back to judges. In this day and time, what God is doing, God is sending judges today. To what? To shape, to warn what? The people of God. Who are the people of God? The world, the whole world, everybody in it. They are the people of God. What you saying, Pastor? Well, God said what? He made man in his image and in his likeness. Just because you a sinner, that don't stop you from being what? In God's image and in his likeness. What stop you from being in his image and likeness is sin. But you still what? His people. Well, I thought the people of God is the Jews. Well, where were the Jews when God just had Adam and Eve on the land? Where did it come from? Adam and Eve were one of their people. 
when, Moab, when Noah had three sons and three wives, and him and his wife, Noah and his wife, and God told him to come off the ark and repopulate the earth, where were the Jews? Where were they? Huh? They were, they were right there, the people right there, God's people. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and his three sons' wife, bearing what? Children. See? 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 Yeah. So, 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 if you look at it, if you look at it, we all Jews. We all, what? The crea creation of God. See? But the devil been playing a game on us. I've been telling you all along. He likes to divide and conquer. See? The devil started this game here separate from here and separate from there and trying to make everybody equal. No, 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 no. It can't be. See? That's what the devil been doing. That's how come you got the blacks and the whites against one another. The red and the what? The whites against one another. Every ethnic group, every, get all of us against group. One another. You got some blacks against black. You got some whites against black. See, that's the game that the devil started, and he started it, and he works it what? Very well. And he worked through willing vessels. And if you work through willing vessels, then those vessels also made in the image and like God, but guess what? They know more in God, which make them what? Vessels of whom? Of the enemy of God. Satan. Are y'all getting this? So you never gonna what? You never gonna do it your way. It's gonna be the God's way or the devil way. You don't have the power. The only thing you have is the free will and the choice. That's all you got. And whoever serving ye are, see, that's who you will obey. The Bible said that. See, oh, I'm my own man, I'm my own man, own, own woman. And see, that's what the devil had what? Deceive us to think that. And that's what's going on tonight. I mean, today. All across the land. See? We doing it our way. But look at all this stuff that we, we uh, project to one another. See? And if we allow it to, if you look at it, see it through God's eyes, you will see that it's not of God. It's from the enemy of God. And that's why I bring into what? Nuclear war. We're the threshold of men get ready to what? Go through battle. See? With such force and such energy. See? That it can annihilate the human race. But see, we forget one thing. We forget one thing. See? In Revelation and Daniel, flip flopping through them books there, and other books in between, it tells a story. And uh, this the story it tells, it said in so in so many ways, if you if you study uh, biblical prophecy, it said that there would be four king kingdoms and no more. There were four kings or kingdoms upon the earth that ruled the whole then known earth. And it has what? Happened, have come to pass, and there would be no more. You see what I'm saying? God said that. And if you look and see, you don't see another king, kingdom that's ruling the whole earth. Or it might look like it is, but it's not. See? It's not. All you got to do is just look through the eyes of God. You might say the United States is the most powerful, powerful country in the world. We rule the world. Oh, it, they tried. See? Hitler tried. A lot of them tried. See? But it failed. It failed. So if that's true, 
then you ought to believe also what God said. God said he will, he, not, not anybody else, he will not destroy the earth by water, but what? By fire. Now everybody take fire for what? For nuclear weapon or some kind of, or whatever. Or what kind of fire was that that, that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Come on, you smiling. You're smart, man. What kind of fire was that? Do you think that God will allow you to destroy what he made? Oh, no. You, can, you can't do it. See? You can't do it. I'm not saying that a nuclear weapon couldn't go off or couldn't be used in a war against humans fighting each other. I'm not saying that. See? But what I am saying that it can not be the kind of destruction, see, whereas God couldn't get the glory. See? If God said it, then that means what? That means that kind of destruction is left up to whom? To God and God only. So what we see here, what they call nuclear weapon or whatever, we see what? We see the residual of something that is able what? To destroy the lives of the human race. But that's not like God. That's not like God. But when they shot the atom bomb over there in Nakasaki and uh, uh, Himoshima, when they, you know, you would say, well, I thought it could be the end of the world, all right, but the world is still standing. God will let men do what they want to do and go to what? A certain point, and then that's it. He'll turn it around. But he say, that's it. The devil got to get permission to go to God. See? Are y'all with this? Y'all see where I'm going with this right here? Yes, we might have destruction. But I tell you, God is still in charge and he's still in control. Now, if you believe, I mean, if you can see whereby God said for kingdom to rule the whole earth and there's no more, and you see nobody else is ruling the earth, and then God put this to it. He said, whenever they say peace, peace, in other words, when they, when they say we're in agreement, we're in agreement, and God said, what? Watch out, total destruction. Why? Because they never ever can be able to come together on the same page. That's why you have so many what? The small kingdom and the uh, mighty kingdom and so forth and so on. That was the, that was, that was the, that was the, uh, 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 the prophecy of this great uh, uh, giant made out of gold during Nebuchadnezzar time. Huh? And Daniel what? Daniel what? Revealed the dream to him. And carried all the way down to they were broken up into toes. See? Residuals of what? The mighty kingdoms, the four mighty kingdoms. See? And it just so happened, America, this country here, and the rest of the people down here, in this day and time here, are Residuate of those of that of that of that of that uh giant golden uh statue that Daniel prophesied and gave the understanding thereof. And he said some king is gonna be weak and some king is gonna be what? Strong. See? And that's where the mixing of the clay comes in there. I did a little study on that. I can't say everything word from word, but you know, just call let me know and I'll give you the information on it. I got books and everything about it, okay? See? So so what am I saying here now? What I'm saying is that is that is that where is God? Where's God? He's still here. He's still down here. Waiting for us to call him up. Huh? As quick as we can. See? Forget the operator. He's going to take the call himself. See? He's still here. It's time for us to what? Call him up. Talk to him in a quick and a hurry. See? Because we got what? Our leaders here all over the world. 
Verse 6 here. But every man did that which was right in his own eyes. In his own eyes. Now let me get back down to, my, to, to here where I'm from. You see? And I'm not bashing this country. I'm bashing sin. I'm bashing, ba bashing ignorance of the, 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 the things uh, uh, that we close our eyes to and say so much about and we don't even know those things is not of God but those things is of you, yourself, and I. You see? It's from the pits of hell. The same spirit that went to the woman and said, God said, didn't we, that he, we could eat all the fruits of the trees? See, he said that part, but he didn't tell her, well, God said we can eat all the true fruits of the tree, but except that one. See, he left that one out. But that one, he left that out. So the serpent could not deceive her unless the serpent himself was deceived. So him being used by the power of Satan, see, deceived the woman, he had to be deceived what first? Because the Bible said what? The serpent was what? The most subtle beast upon, upon the earth. Beast. That means he wasn't human. He, I mean, he wasn't like, like a, a, a human flesh and stuff like that. He was, he was, he was on the beast field. The beast. Huh? Category, the beast. See? He got his power from whom? The devil. Satan. Lucifer. The great red dragon. Symbolizing what? A system. A systematic system. Within a system to come against what? The system of God. Oh, somebody already heard this. See, you're gonna get this in the church. See, we working with what? Spiritual thing. And why not? You ought to love what I'm talking about. The ones that go to the movies and stuff and want to be scared out of their skin. Oh, you ought to love this. See? But you don't want to listen to this. But you want to go see something that levitate. You want to go something to see with a head running all around. You want to see something jumping out the, out the eye socket. See, you lack all that. Why not? Why not? Because you're part of, you part of that, that environment spiritually and don't even know it. See, but when God says something about the beast and the red dragon, all, you want to what? Now you want to dissect and then you want to say, well, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I'm just telling you what it is. The great red dragon, huh? Satan, enemy of God. See, they were just symbols. And then if you read, you'll find out God gives understanding of what? The symbol. God don't need nobody to interpret his word. His word interpretate itself. Run to Daniel and run to Revelation and back to Daniel and run to Revelation and then stop off at Isaiah, then stop off at Jeremiah. But you ready to go out there and get scared all out the skin? Girl, I seen a, a scary movie last night. And not knowing your soul, your soul is getting, your soul is what? And all this stuff is coming into your soul. It become a part of you. That's why some of you can't sleep at night. Because you're dipping and dabbing in when you're not supposed to be dipping and dabbing in. And you're doing damage to what? To your spirit, man. I know, I've been there, I've done it. I've done it. And don't you believe for once that the devil don't work. The devil don't, is a lie. He, he's not a lie. Because he is. He's in the spirit world and he works himself through what? Through the flesh. By what? By our what? Come on in. Oh, how you doing? I thought it was you. Come on in, sit down. The devil. See? You control all of that. 
When you, when you become born again, saved, sanctified, I don't know why I'm going this way, and got the Holy Ghost, the gift of God in your spirit, the Bible said what? It's just as if you have not sinned and broken God's law. God put you back to where you were. What? When he created and made you in his image and in his Latin. And when he tell Adam, he said you have the power over every creepy thing upon the, the earth or in the sea. I have given you rulership over it all. See? So when we come to God, we get that same what? That same what? Power back with us in our spirit that the devil cannot do us no harm unless we allow him to. And when we allow him to, we are what? Open the door and say, Come on in, bro. Come on in. Sit down, have a seat. Are you comfortable? <laughs> I know. I don't sound funny, but that's the truth, my brothers and my sisters. You see what I'm saying? Something else. So let's get back to the, to what the men that said what. What I do is, is the right thing to do and stuff like that right there. See, the Lord said, "Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways." That mean that mean a person that's vastly over here and over there with truth, righteousness, and just over there and all. You know what I mean? That, that man, you can't trust that man or that woman. You can't trust him. I told you before Biden became president. I told you before Biden, when Biden came president, I said, y'all talking about Trump. Oh, yeah, he was bad now. He was a bad boy. I said, but guess what? Biden is going to beat him. I mean, no. I don't want you to talk about beat him, not beat him after being the president. No, no. Biden is going to be bad and worse than Trump. Told you that. Oh, y'all thought, say, well, oh, we got it going on there. We go, no, no, no. And I tell you what, the Republican ain't no more. They ain't no more. Look at it. They ain't no more. Don't, 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 don't pat me on the back. No, no. God told me to tell you that two, two or three years ago. Because they lied so much. See? See? They thought they was above the law. And while I'm on that right there, while I'm on that right there, all you judge and all you people and all them talking about, I, I, I don't know who, uh, what they did. They, they, they don't know that they did anything. Uh, 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 they didn't break the law or what you are lying somebody. And you know you are. You know you are. You see what I'm saying? That's what the Bible said. The Bible said what? In 6, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Not God's eyes. Not God way. See? This is, this is the biggest this is the biggest country with their hypocrisy than anybody else. They, 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 well, everybody else with all their what they're going through, hypocrisy and lying and all that right, deception and stuff. Huh? You can put it all together and it still wouldn't outbeat this, this, this country here. See? And I'm just telling you things, these things, I'm just telling you these things here now, so you can allow God to get it, get, to get it right, get it right. That's why I'm before my brothers and my sisters. Turn to God. Turn to the ways and the word of God that you might be saved, that your soul might be saved. That's the only way. The devil don't want me to tell you this. Now, is that gonna stop everything from stop? Is that gonna stop everything from, from coming upon there? No, no, it ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna stop it. But guess what? You will be you will feel better off in your soul, in your spirit, that you got a, a way with God. You are being preserved by the power of God by doing that which is good and right, black folks. The best thing could have happened to us. In this crisis that we call the coronavirus and, uh, and, and all the rest or whatever, is when God, what? Closed down the churches. When you allow the churches to be closed down and got y'all one-on-one in your homes and stuff, huh? And got y'all before each other. You had an opportunity and, and time to what? To think. Allow that mind of yours, as my mama would say, uh, 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 that sandbag sitting on your shoulder. Use it for something else besides, uh, you know what I mean? And got us to start thinking. We had so much time on our hands. See? 
And a lot of people took that time and they turned to God. See? And their life had never been the same. Had they stayed where they were, it'd been what? Business as usual. Pie in the sky. By and by. One of these days. Lord, when you stop by. Huh? Don't miss me, Lord. Don't leave me. See? But then, but now, but then we had an opportunity to think. Read our Bible. Draw closer to God. And we would not let the devil take that from us. Was I for the virus? No, because I know some of you coming out your mouth right now. Look like you for the virus, son. No, 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 for the piss of hell. So I'm going to let you know, person, that no, I won't for the virus. I'm for God's saving soul. That's what I'm for. Do they answer your question, my brother and my sisters? It's because at the end of the day, you still going to have to what? In order to get in the kingdom, you still going to have to know something about God. You will have to hunger for righteousness and justice. Mm-hmm. I got one girl, and she always comment on most of my uh my programs and, and, and other little stuff, you know. And I want to thank her so much. You know what I mean? I, I usually don't do this, but I want to thank her so much. And I'm gonna put the initials to her name because I don't want to say her name because I, I don't know if she wants to be so, you know, known, you know. <laughs> I don't think you want everybody to know that you know this crazy boy down here at Jesus' store. <laughs> so I ain't gonna hurt you like that, my sister. But her, her initial, I want her to know that, that uh, I want her to know that I know and I thank her. Her name is E. <laughs> EJ. That's, that's, all, that's, all you, that's all you're gonna get from her. Her name is EJ. And it could be, could be, a, could be a, you don't know what EJ stands for, could be, you know. Amen. EJ. Thank you, uh, EJ. Well, at least you know, know she's, 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 uh, she's a female. You know what I mean? And uh, thank you, sweetie. And I had the opportunity to meet her and her husband. So she married. So I want y'all to think I'm trying to hit on nobody. Because I know y'all mad, man. You know what I mean? I'm just closing the door. You know what I mean? That's all. Let me see. See. When I talk, when I talk, I ain't going to get it. That's my business. I ain't tell you nothing. Ain't none of your business. <laughs> Glory! Hallelujah! <laughs> now, what I was saying here, look, 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 look! <laughs> look, brothers and sisters, look. We can't have it our way. I don't care how, 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 how often you go to Burger King. It, it, ain't, it ain't so. We can't have it our way. You know, we can't have our cake and eat it too. You gotta be one of you. can't serve two masters. You gotta be either God or Satan. See what I'm saying? You can't be, ain't no in between. Ain't no in between. You can't get in the kingdom of heaven one foot there and one foot over. You, you can't, it, can't, it can't be done. See, I'm just trying to encourage you to stay strong in the Lord. How do you stay strong in the Lord, Brother Max Wayne? I try every day. I pray every day. I give, I give homage to God. I give uh, my offer to God. I treat everybody. How do you stay strong in the law? When you, well, hey, that's good you do all those things. You know what I mean? See? So what you do? I got to do it myself. Because I don't feel like I'm doing it. I got to do it myself. I got to sell out for Jesus. You got to be sold out for God. You can't let nobody rule over you but God. You see? When you following somebody that's following a lie, you can't say, oh yeah, I'm going to child. I'll go with you this time. No, 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 no. If you know that lies are being spread, and what I mean by lies, lies about God's word, lies about you got to do this and do that, it ought to be, you know, say, sanctify hope. No, no. You got to get in your word in this Bible here, read for yourself, and then you got to sell out for God. Now, when that happens, I don't know. But you'll know, I'll know when it happens. That means what? Nothing. 
Nothing on this earth, in this earth realm, can separate me from the will of God. See? That's why you got to be strong in here. You got to be strong. What do I mean by strong? You got to know something. Your nose got to know that you know what God said for yourself. See? You got to check the spirit out. And I, what I tell you what spirit is? Spirit is words. You got to check that stuff that people bring to you. Them words. See? That's what the spirit is. Words. Is they bringing the right word? Or they bring you some kind of word that's off the... Huh? They're going off the cliff. Going south. Now, same thing with people. See what I'm saying? So, I'm going to end it right there. Right there. So, that's why I put nuclear war there. Because God is still in control. But I want you to be prepared and be ready that if anything does happen, with a mass attack in this country or any other country from one of these boys that have those kind of weapons, then you will know. You will know. I'm not saying anything. I'm just telling you it exists and where they are with this stuff here. They talking about fighting nuclear. Do you know that nuclear power is that is a thousand uh, 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 TNT powerful than Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the bomb, the atomic bomb that he dropped on them. You know, I used to love uh, 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 science when I was in school. They talked about the atom, they talked about the molecule, they talked about the neutron. I was real fascinated about those things. You see what I'm saying? And the, 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 the most important thing they, they wanted to get to, they wanted to get to the atom. It was the center. The atom. And see, when you split that atom, oh man, it releases, it releases the kind of energy for it. You can't put it back in the bottle. Mm -mm. That force got to go somewhere. It got to go somewhere. And they know this. See? When man sinned, Man had determined his destination, and his destination was destruction. Man was what? To, to destroy his own self, and that is, it ain't changed. It ain't changed. These people can talk all, these people in high places can talk all they want to talk. If they ain't got God in their life, they ain't nothing but what? A sinner. They'll, they'll come on. You're just like their mother and their father, Adam and Eve. Because a lot of you say, well, I wonder why Adam and Eve did that. If I were Eve, I would have did that. Or if I were Adam, I would have kicked him out. I would have did that. You are lying, and the truth ain't in you. It's in you because you can do it, and you will do it if you don't have Jesus in your life. Simple as that. So you're going to get one of them people out there. They're going to try it. See? It's not that they can't and they won't do it. What it is, they want to see, they want to, they, they want to be the first one before the other one. That's all. They know the destruction of it. They know the destruction of it. They want to beat them, beat them, beat each other to it. See? See? You know when they told Jesus? You know, you know when they told Jesus when Jesus, Jesus was, was uh, 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 uh. Uh, telling us the evil spirit to come out of people and so forth and so on, and he was healing people. The Jews, not even in God, but they saw it their way. They said he casting out be eligible, which put the chief devil. He casting out be eligible. You know, you know what I mean? And Jesus said, How can a house stand if it tear down itself? Now you know that be eligible is behind all of this. The chief devil, Satan is behind all of this. And he gonna come back, come back and, 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 and then what? Stop it? Huh? That's 
what he does. That's what Satan does. He, he'll tear down his own house, his own kingdom. But they try to credit what God do with what Beelzebub do. That tell me they, they blind already. Jesus cast out the evil spirit and stuff by the power of his father, by the power of his God and our God, his father and our father. And that's why the devil house can't stand because he's in that frame of setting, that mind. See? He don't care about his house standing. Even if he care, guess what? It, it, he just gonna do it anyway. And that's the way the minds of some of these guys in high places. You see what I'm saying? They talk a good game. They talk a good talk. See? But they get out there and use that stuff, man, quick as they possibly can before somebody else would use it. See? But only by the grace of God, we haven't had anything like that since Nakasaki and Himoshima. Sure, Chernobyl, I think they had an accident in Russia some years ago. And they say the place is still what? Radioactive after 25 years. That's, then you, you can determine how bad that stuff is. That nuclear, you can determine how bad that stuff is. 25 years ago. And they say, they say that piece of land over there ain't worth nothing. It's still an activated devil. Now what you think will happen if we start shooting missiles, you know what I mean, whatever. That's why I say, get your house in order. This ain't nothing to play with. The only thing I got left is my soul. And I want my soul to be saved. I want my soul to be saved. I want my soul, want my soul to be saved. I ain't gonna say no more. Amen? Huh? Amen. So you worry about allowing God to get you to get your soul right, get your soul saved, so you can what? Encourage your children and your children's children to get their soul right. So we can stop looking at what's about to come on the planet Earth. We already know about God's word, what's going to come on the planet Earth. But guess what? Just like the children down in Egypt, all them players came, the players did not what? Touch them. You forget that? You forget that? That was a foreshadow that you know that God is going to have a hand in what? Destroying all this mess here. Not man, but God. And God going to use the what? The very elements that man think what? Don't mean anything. The flies. The frogs. Huh? The viruses. All this stuff here. While man trying to get it together, trying to what? Get, 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 get that nuclear weapon aimed at each other and everything. God be already starting this process here. What? Destroying planet Earth. With the little small simple thing. Huh? And the Bible said, look at Egypt. Look at Exodus. Look at the Exodus. The Bible said what? Not one was affected that was in the land of Goshen at that time when the plague hit what? The most powerful country in the world, Egypt. King Pharaoh and his boy, the Egyptian. It's there. This book ain't no window dressing thing. This book right here is life. Can you hope where there's none of them? No, no hope. Inspire you when nobody can inspire you. Encourage you. As David said, I curse myself. Don't look for nobody to encourage you. You look for this word here. See, that's why they made with me because I always what, tell them about the word. I don't tell them nothing about what I think. No, what the word say. See, they won't, they won't go in the word. They won't take the word and study it. Or they come out with all, with all kinds of verses. What the devil had, the devil spoke verse to Jesus. Huh? He says, throw yourself down. For the angel of what? Will, will, will protect you, pick you up. Huh? Jesus said, what? Tempt not the Lord thy God. You see what Jesus said? Tempt not the Lord thy God. Thou God. Which means what? God, Jehovah, was Satan, God as well. Now we he over you too. But you try to tempt our God. Because you know our God, Satan. You know. The Bible said what? The devil what? 
He know that there is a God and he what? He trembles. Some of us don't know it. And we're supposed to be what? Smart people. And the devil is considered way over us. He know there is a God and he trembles. He show works. He trembles. But some of us, boy, we could go through hell and still denounce God. Ain't scared whatsoever. Bring it on, God. And rightly so, because that's what's going to happen in Revelation. They said, why? Fire and brimstone was coming out of heaven, destroying them. They cussed God still to their face. The one who what? Hated God. The humans. And they said what? The weight of those brimstone was like a, 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 a talent. And if you know how much a talent weighed in the physical sense, it's a hundred pounds. Can you imagine the gravity pulling those, those uh, uh, fire brimstones down upon all this wickedness that's going on? And when it, and you know how the gravity pull that stuff down, if it's about a hundred pounds, when it get, when, when that thing, that thing shoots out missiles, boom, boom. And they cuss God to the face. They still wouldn't what? Bow down and say, Lord, have mercy. I'm, help me, Lord. Still wouldn't do it. See? That's, that's how, that's how marvelous and wonderfully, wondrous that the Spirit of God made us with His Spirit. Can nothing change your mind but him. And if you don't have him to help you change your mind, guess what? It won't be done. We feel strong about it. you ready to what? You die for it. And that's what they did. They died for it. It's in Revelation. This stuff ain't no window shop. This stuff right here try to tell you, get some things uh, under your belt here so you'll understand what really is, gonna, is, is coming upon us. Let me go. I'll be talking all night. Now, look, brothers and sisters. Look, brothers and sisters. Judges 17, verse 6. See? See? There's a scripture that is written. It said, Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge you the Lord, and he will. I think we'll deliver you or something. Y'all, anybody know that scripture? You know what I mean? Pick that scripture up and go and read it tonight. You see what I'm saying? So here in 6, here, we can't lean to our own understanding. We don't know like God know. See, we got to lean to him and knowledge his way. And he will, he will save us and deliver us. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Amen. And I, I had fun tonight talking to y'all. I sure appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me talk to y'all. I really appreciate it. And I love you. I love your children. I love everybody. You know what I mean? And may God continue to show mercy and grace to your household, to everybody, even those that are in the hospital. Amen? You might get your soul wrapped up, not up in Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? But I ask God to deliver, come and deliver you from your sickness of your body right now and give you a few more days, if not years, so you can enjoy your family. Amen? Those that are locked up behind prison bars, I pray to God for those that have done what they say they have done. I pray to God they done turned their life around and gave it to God and they've been serving God for the last 18 years. Lord, deliver them right now from behind those bars in the name of Jesus. Let the parole uh, grant them parole. Let the parole board grant them parole right now and send them home in the name of Jesus so they can live this new life in Jesus around those that they love. I pray for those that are in the streets killing and shooting. Lord, have mercy in places that they shouldn't be. The kids or even a, a husband, or a wayward wife. Lord, I pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. Let them find their way, not just back home, but find their way to you, Lord. Know that you can fix their problems. You can fill the gap, the emptiness that's in their spirit. 
And you can give them what they need, Father God, that they might what? Become what? A child of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Lord, I just want to thank you. And thank you, Lord, for blessing me, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for helping me to maintain my sanity. <laughs> yes, Lord, my sanity. That's the Lord. But God said what? God said, ain't good the man should be alone. <laughs> If you say that about man, he said it ain't good that a woman should be alone. You know what I mean? So, no, I just want to say thank you. I'm laughing at this thing, Lord, but I'm just waiting on you to just bring me somebody. Amen. That is, that, that is from heaven above. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you don't, Lord, it's all right in the heart. Just, just, just let me know that you don't give me the strength and, and, and to tolerate and to move on and to continue in your word. Praise, praise the Lord. I just want to know, I always tell everybody, you know, excuse me. You see these lips? I said, these lips ain't kissed nobody since Carolyn. I mean, you know, when I'm showing her lip thing on the lip, ain't kissed nobody but Carolyn since she's been gone. You know what I mean? And, and, and don't look like it's going to happen. So when God bring me one, you know what I mean? I just want to make sure I, I, don't, uh, I, I don't get out of practice. <laughs> say, buck her up. <laughs> Let me start with my foolish thing. Amen, praise the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with a little humor sometimes. <laughs> Y'all keep me in prayer. Praise the Lord, I keep you in prayer. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. And I also want you to pray for uh, uh, this young lady, uh, Danielle, and, and my male, uh, my male, now, uh, 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 now, uh, 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 my male woman, uh, 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 I guess, you know, M.A. Uh, M-A-I-L male woman you know she could deliver the mail pray for her and her family keep her keep her uh, head caught head till pray for her continuously she, she coming along you know what I mean but y'all keep her in prayer with me and it's sweet little Janet might want to do my clothes next door you know she's so so sweet you know what I mean she do my clothes you know and I thank the Lord for I pray for her 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 her, 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 her children and uh and so forth and so on and uh and who else lord and somebody else Lala. oh yeah pray for lala she owned the uh uh the beautician shop over there she gets me you know she's contract over there you know so pray for her you know while her husband is is back in uh uh, uh synagogue uh in south africa and uh until he returned lord pray for her daughter her daughter just graduated amen her son, he's next in line to graduate. Pray for her, her business and everything. And who else? Somebody else, Lord, anybody else. I'm asking people that know the word, the word of prayer. Keep them in prayer. In Jesus' name. Peace. So be it.